Alright, Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. I'm back. Okay, so for this, uh, we have 5.2 continue on the previous one on the quality and business strategy. Now we're moving to the second subtopic which is corporate entrepreneurship. So what is a corporate entrepreneurship? So in here it's been stated uh, the definitions of entrepreneurship based upon the observations of uh, successful individual entrepreneurs blur as uh, the business organization that was previously small and easily managed by the owner manager grew over time and the business operation become more complex. So according to Miller 1983 expounded that the complexity of the organization as the consequence of its expansion require renewal of the organization structure. So the organization has to explore new venture and opportunity innovation and undertake the calculated risk. So the above manifestation implies that entrepreneurship is not limited to the size, ownership, and also phase of the business in its life cycle. Okay, so this is the importance of um, corporate entrepreneurship. Okay, they have many. Uh, maybe I just take a photo sample like support in here, right? Okay, according to um, Charity Paddy and Tommy, 1991, in the process globalization, economic boundaries based on the national borders, geographical, political ideology will diminish and the transfer of resources across national boundaries will have much easier. So this is kind of in the deniable also because when we're talking about the globalization, it has a uh, actually expanding okay our process of uh, business okay to the another country sites okay to the other part of the world which is no boundaries after all because we are able to have some some resources okay we can outsourcing we can have like expanding okay and of course it is like we helping each other we get from the other the country's product and the product also get from our product countries no? and then uh, it's been stated by also uh, the strategy formulated should be unique and the mesh the need and the social political culture of targeted union because they say also in here corporate management they have to be creative and innovative in the strategy formulation both at the corporate and business level so this is suggestion conquers with two pen 1934 started explanation of entrepreneurship so he defined entrepreneurship as innovative activity that encompasses the product development, services sources of the raw material marketing and restructuring of the industry in order to create the competitive advantage for one own business. So basically we are talking about innovative in innovation. So they have the combination between the technology and injection of this technology making the the process of the entrepreneur is become uh, entrepreneurship become more easier. Because right now, as you can see, in terms of the digital marketing, okay, social digital marketing, um, it's quite impressive. And we can see every single, and during this time, right, uh, they're very excessive to make sure that the entrepreneurship can be expanded around and all, after all around the world. Huh? And then um, a positive relationship between a dynamic economic environment and the high level of competition with uh, corporate entrepreneurship like Miller 1983, Jennings and Lubkin 1989, Zara 1990 has influenced top management in organization to inculcate entrepreneurship culture among the middle levels managers and executives. So we need to say it's not just only for the top management levels will be like middle level management because we like mentor mentee, okay? We train those do, those the people that surrounded us to make sure that they can cope with the environment and the commands and the uh, maybe like kinds of instruction be given they can able to understand uh, easily and faster. Huh? And Carson 1990 explained that entrepreneurial mindset and its perception to a competition in the business environment would influence strategy formation in organization. Oh, okay, so this is a few of definition of the corporate entrepreneurship. As you can see, uh, the entrepreneurship model expounded by Scoop Enter 1934 uh, has contributed to the concept of corporate entrepreneurship and this differentiates uh, the entrepreneur form 
from an investor and a manager. Okay, so according to Zahra and Pinchot, uh, 1990 and 1981, term used to label corporate entrepreneur include intrapreneurship. And then Alice and Tally, 1987, term used in the corporate venture. Bergelman and Silas, 1986, internal corporate venture. Zahra, 1990, corporate entrepreneurship as a process to, cre uh, to create new ventures with the business corporations. Zahra, 1991, encompasses entrepreneurship as a part of the parcel of the corporate entrepreneurship activity. And Jennings and Lumpkin, 1989, and Stevens and Jerry Lou, 1990, corporate entrepreneurship. They were of the view that corporate entrepreneurship should encompasses the effort to create a new business form within the uh, organization and to reevaluate current services or product rendered by the organization to the marketplace. So we have the characteristic of the corporate entrepreneurship. They have eight here. Okay, number one, um, corporate entrepreneurship should be proactive, innovative. Okay, uh, proactive meaning to say they have to make sure that they keep on having the latest uh, uh, proactive mean enthusiastic. Okay, should be active and uh, able to cope with uh, different changes, latest updates. Okay, anything that related to entrepreneurs, for example, they have to be very pro in a very uh, standby mode and ready for that, huh? ready for the changes. and. Uh, second one, innovative, we're talking about how you put injections towards the technology, towards yourself. Uh, I mean, like innovative in here, meaning to say the process, okay, the process in the in the entrepreneur itself, they want to put like um, technology advancement. For example, you want to open up like banana chips, okay, business, okay. I think that in the television, they do like makia, banana chips, okay, uh, pizza, right, okay. And then they have some, before this, maybe they use manual labor to cut the, the, the banana. But right now, they have machines to cut the banana into pieces. And then they also have the machinery to help on um, packaging. Uh, so that is innovative. Huh? And then propensity to make moderate and calculated this. So uh, in here, to be entrepreneurs, you cannot run away from the risk. So bear in mind, uh, entrepreneurs mostly they will become a high risk taker. So well, propensity and to make the moderate and calculated risk meaning to say we are bare with the risk and we are able to control the risk and how we control the risk by able to know what is the root risk. Uh, apakah punca datang uh, risiko tersebut and we can control it. Okay, we cannot delete, we cannot totally throw the risk but we can control, we reduce the risk. Huh? And of course we inspirations to do more than current capacity mean to say you you able to chew more than what uh, you able to to eat more than you can chew okay so in here uh inspired to do out of the box it can be or maybe you want to do something that that's different from others okay current capacity you want to do to do more in terms of the quantity okay and then we do have teamwork of course uh esprit the cops is be Encouraging here, we have to work in a team to make sure that uh, when you are doing the work in team, indirectly it able to uh, encourage, okay, uh, something like corporations and positivity, uh, positivity, okay, and indirectly, uh, you know what is your other colleagues, your team member, their, what is their strength and what is their weaknesses and we can cope up okay we can top up uh, can i see that we can cope with each other and that we learn something new from them uh, and uh, i believe that uh, brainstorming is the best tools and decision to be made okay when we do in a teamwork and indirectly we can find out what is the best to solve the problems or issue and creative problem solving of course we try to think out of the box okay so uh, how to solve the problem in the creative way and then listening to the feedback we want to make sure that what is the best uh, listen to um, what is the feedback that we can get and uh, of course uh, we listen up to that okay uh, how to say that uh, we do positive with any response, even if it's negative or positive. We try to make sure that from the negative, we can 
create to become positive okay so that's why as entrepreneurs you cannot just hearing about everything is about rainbow in the sky so you have also to say something like there will be storm okay and then from the storm from the raining so become rainbow right uh, so listening to the feedback is the best in order to improvise to do some changes towards your product and services and need for achievement meaning to say how you want to make sure that you can actually um, achieve a certain the target goals the strategies that you have planned before and at the same time to become this corporate entrepreneurship you have to have uh, some discipline no? uh, to achieve this in which and when durations uh, and period uh, if not you will frustrate it uh, if you are not made some like deadline okay within the certain period you cannot achieve your goals okay and then development of the corporate entrepreneurship we do have venture capital new venture incubator idea generation and transfer program and entrepreneurship development program okay maybe we should look into one by one is it okay number one uh, they say in here um, venture capital okay so the corporate acts as a venture capitalist by the first mean the existing corporation act as of the sources of fund sometimes called risk capitals and required to start a new business so this way the corporation act as the venture capitalist and create sufficient fund for the venture capital to finance a new startup so this is talking about you get some assistance okay from maybe like venture capitalists from outsider to make sure that you have the sufficient fund okay to start up your business okay and when we're talking about the second one establishment of incubator for a new venture so the corporation offer capital low cost space or business permits equipment and limited management support so it's been stated here the venture that is supported by the corporation may have started from within the organization or maybe independent new startup or a free enterprise that is supported by the corporations so the corporation may take advantage of the access resources uh, facilities such as uh, idle flow space equipment and use managerial talent to support the incubator program so this is something like to give like um some existence also because you imagine that incubator give something like uh, support especially life support to baby right uh, so it's like that concept so as a new business we want something like the business being supported by the the another company that already been stable and in here uh, they said okay by the corporation that have started from the organization and independent new startup so they will start they were supported by the corporation the corporation may be like already experienced in the industry so through that they can actually take some advantage on resources or okay, some maybe they can come up with the, the new idea on that right and can then we do have encouraging the generation and the transfer of idea the third options attempt to generate new business idea okay as you can see from here the new idea is then cemented to form a new business startup the objective of this approach is to generate new idea to generate new ideas improve or create value or generate new users of the products okay the success of this program would offer a new source of the revenue for the company and this is the example of skew the idea of creative destruction okay creative destruction meaning to say you are come up with the idea that the new market or maybe it's come like this uh let's say this is handphone okay at the same time this handphone can become like a different destructive maybe it can become like uh we know the features like camera everything but at the same time the handphone can not only just call at the same time it can become like uh it can function as a test uh, like power bank okay and maybe it can be like a mirror to you okay or maybe it can be have another like maybe um what else uh, we can put something like um, anything kinds that they have example to to help on the destruction right so you need to say it's not have one functions but they have multitasking functions uh, that is how the creative idea of uh, scoop enter okay you're not just relying on the one product for one function it can be have many okay example maybe like um 
maybe you have seen like uh, whiteboard rubber, right? Pemadam whiteboard. At the same time, it can become a case in order to put the marker. At the same time, it can become like a magnet. Okay, it can be stick on the whiteboard rather than to have everywhere to be put on, right? And then maybe it can be at the same time um, as a pencil case. Uh, it can be because this is how the way we think in the creative destruction. Huh? And then we have entrepreneurship program. Uh, this program involves the potential individuals or a small group of personnel in the corporation who will develop a business idea until the idea can be realized into the business venture and continue to grow. So this program is known as intrapreneurship development program. So mostly intrapreneurship program is done by, I remember they do have like, uh, I don't remember actually, the institution that giving you something like training, okay. Uh, and then for six months, let's say, okay, and then uh, they train you, okay, they give some mentor, mentee coaching program, and then uh, after six months, um, uh, peneraju, yayasan peneraju also do like that, they granted you certain amount, uh, and then also they do like, um, um, Allah, I forget, okay. They have a lot actually, like even Mara program, okay, and then like SME, uh, SME institution, uh, they encourage on how you can have like uh, this thing, okay. So uh, you will be helped on this, okay, on how to involve in entrepreneurship. At the same time, you will be trained of what is the latest market, what is the latest uh maybe like machinery being used. Let's say you are involving in bakery, right? So how to make sure that your pastries become good and long lasting. Example, what is the thing mechanism recipe that we can share. So this is like entrepreneurship program. Yeah? All right. And then we do have a gender uh, entrepreneurship. Maybe I can continue this, right? Okay. Um, of course, uh, when we're talking about gender in this world, we only have two gender, male and female, okay? So, it be stated here, woman participation, particularly in business, is hit hero debated and research despite claim of the female in a part of the world. Yes, it's indeed, okay? We can see now with this is a lot that actually people involving in the kind of this business. So, women-owned uh, business are defined as those are privately held firms in which women own 59% or more. So meaning to say 41% will be owned by the guys. Huh? Alright, so uh, what else inside here? Okay, the reasons of the issue on gender entrepreneurship is societal belief. Uh, the rules male, female, both can be entrepreneurs, husband and wife, and father and mother. Okay. It will stick like this. This is universal, okay? And statistic on the sex is shown that they have an unemployment rate. Uh, I'm so sorry because it's quite obsolete here. It's until 2018. And employment annual growth rate is until, if you can see here, we have female up to 4.6, okay, for unemployment rate. And for the female, up to employment rate is 1.3. So this is the labor market situation in C, meaning to say Southeast Asia countries according to gender. Whereby for the average annual growth rate of labor per force in Malaysia, so it's up to 20. Maybe you can look into the statistic 2015 to 2020. So Malaysia is at 1.85, okay, annual average annual growth rate of the labor force from 2010 to 14 is 2.08 so it's slightly like decreasing here okay and then um this is some research on the gender entrepreneurship disparate findings okay i want you to read this maybe your own because it's just only have uh well what is the both female and female is being debated in here so this is the financing entrepreneurship she is gender and issue. So being stated here, uh, involvement women business owners in social media marketing. Also, eighty-eight percent. Uh, eighty-eight percent. This is during two thousand fourteen. Uh, 
website increased to 3 percentage uh, points from 2013. And this is uh, 2014 uh, for those using Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and also Instagram. Social media present increased 8 percent points from 2013. And mobile present, meaning using mobile, okay, uh, increased 30 percentage from 2013 and 2014. E-commerce increased six percentage point from 2013. Uh, so this is a survey by National Association of the Women Business Owner Web dot com group. And so it's general. It's not specific for Malaysia context only. Yeah. All right. So Malaysia Women Entrepreneurship. Why Malaysia? Because currently this subject is only just open up to the. Of course, we do have international students because but the syllabus is mostly on the concept of, uh, Malaysian concept. Okay. So I hope that. For those Indonesian students, you can accept on this, okay? So to these names such as Nelly Tan, Khatija Ahmad, Mariam, Sulaiman, Eliza, Zainuddin, Mazna Hamid, and Bin Menin are reminded that women can be successful entrepreneur. Actually, it's already, already a long time ago we have Siti Khatija as the most entrepreneurs during um, our Prophet Muhammad Sallam time, right? Remember, he is she is uh, one of the prominent businessmen, businesswoman, huh? Okay, and this training program and finance schemes are aggressively introduced and implemented by ministries such as the Ministry of Entrepreneur and Cooperative Development, Ministry of Women and Public Development and Ministry of Rural Development. So banks to have specific financing scheme for the women one is the bank but then also known as agro bank right now and we have Simidec and the MITI has special grant scheme for the women leads business they are planning to introduce computerization to their businesses and we do have like federations of the women entrepreneur association and umbrella organization for most of the association like national association of women entrepreneurs malaysia nawim peniagawati usahan Wanita and Kus Wanita. So this is all those, the association that belongs to the under woman entrepreneurship. So according to the statistic, statistic, uh, it is stated like, uh, you can see like from United States up to the Uganda. So Malaysia is around in the middle, 40% is comparable uh, uh, condition, most high potential female entrepreneurship development. Meaning to say we are in the middle, uh, Malaysian woman. All right. So, the challenges in the gender entrepreneurship, we do have uh, the challenges, of course. And if you can see from here, uh, they have in terms of the role conflicts, okay? And then they have in terms of the culture, and then they have type of the business and listing on mainstream. So role conflict in here, somehow we can see that uh, not only just men right now will be become entrepreneur, but women also will be become entrepreneur. So, uh, I believe that women will become like a helper to the breadwinner, like the guys who are become the breadwinner of the family, right? And of course, there will be lots of challenges when the woman actually more powerful than a man. So there will be some role conflict in here, right? And of course, we're talking about the culture. Certain culture, they're emphasizing only the men will go for like become... Uh, entrepreneurs okay like maybe like Saudi they only just uh, encouraging on the guy but um, like culture in for the woman is not allowed okay so they just stay at home but uh, recently if you can realize on the uh, slowly they open up that woman in Saudi can drive a car they have something like they also can um, have the opportunity to become a part of in this kind of uh, entrepreneurs, okay, and um, if you realize also in Malaysia itself, in Kelantan, majority the women in kinds of the business area was in was women, okay. Uh, I can say not was, but currently is women uh, dominated the business in Kelantan, okay. So you go to Pasar City Kadija, okay, work of shit, yeah, okay, and then you can see that a lot of women, okay, women is conquering the business in there, meaning to say that women is have these kinds of things. So, um, but the the problem is when we see it, um, we have to make sure that um, they have that potential, okay, of course, and at the same time, uh, they able to to do the right things okay um not 
just only relying on women okay and the type of the business of course like women even though like the guy right now they also go to the salon right and uh yeah they become like masculine you know so uh, even like cook also right uh chef mostly is dominated by the guy and even like women we uh, goes even like the guy also go for the cosmetic so we need to see a woman have some the same role in here so we have to compete with them so like cooking also women have to compete with the guy the man and also like even the cosmetic also okay so saloon also so everything is the type of the business so this thing or mainstream uh it depends on what industry that you goes into so i believe that if you don't want this too mainstream maybe you can try to the other kind of the business that's very rare okay um to join by um certain gender uh, but i believe now nowadays it's like same like even women or men okay both are uh try to their best in order to conquering okay the industry that not only just dominated from one gender okay all right so franchising okay franchising i will open up uh, i mean open up. i will continue on the third parts okay for this inshallah uh, because i want to make sure that for the week 13 you will focusing on more on your assignment and then at the same time i will start to do the duration okay and yeah that's it uh i'll be right back don't go stay tuned with me and thank you for listening up to my lecture thank you assalamualaikum